Hi there, my name is Mike Manson and I'd like to congratulate you on the purchase of your new Mitsubishi ASX. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set your vehicle up and cover all the vehicle's features. Right, one of the most important things when you get into your new Mitsubishi ASX is getting your seat position adjusted. How we do that is we can raise the height or drop it and how we do that is by using this lever here. If I pull up, it's going to raise my seat position that's going to drop it down and then my back support there's a lever at the back here you pull that up and that's going to bring my back forward and in terms of my seat that's probably correct this vehicle also has telescopic steering so we need to adjust the steering now on the left hand side of the steering wheel there's a lever i will drop that lever down and what that enables me to do is bring the steering wheel in out up and down almost like a telescope and for my driving position that's probably set exactly there Right, once our seating position is adjusted and our steering, we obviously now need to get our side mirror set into place. How we do that is on the, on the driver's door panel, on the right hand side, in the top corner, you will notice that there is a L and an R button for left and right with some arrows and what we'll do is adjust those arrows left right to get everything set in place if you're parking in a very confined space I can also bring my side mirrors in how I do that is by pushing this button here and my side mirrors will automatically come in your new Mitsubishi ASX will also come with electronic windows. On the driver's panel on the right hand side, we can control all the windows, in the front windows and the back windows. If you have got kids in the vehicle and you don't want them playing with the windows up and down as you're driving, you can also stop them from doing that by pushing the one button on the left hand side here and that'll prevent them from playing with their windows. In other words, if you push that button, they can't then push their windows up and down while you're driving. It's also got a central locking button which can be operated from the driver's door as well. The time's going to come when you're going to need fuel for your vehicle and just to point out where your fuel release is. On the floor on the right hand side, you'll just pull a little lever up like that and that's going to be your fuel release cap which is on the left hand side of the vehicle. If you are worried of where it's situated, when you're driving on your clock display over here, you'll notice that the little fuel pump has got an arrow pointing to the left and that's telling you that your fuel fillings on the left hand side of the vehicle. The other thing if you want to just check your oil and water etc, your bonnet release will be situated over here and all you do is you pop that back and that is going to release the bonnet. If you want to raise the bonnet, it's very simple. If you look just above the diamond, the Mitsubishi diamond logo, pop up, turn your hand around, slide to the left and it will raise the bonnet. A very important thing to look at on long distance trips, the small things, all preventative measures. Mitsubishi has been very clever here and they've marked everything with white caps to be checked. Firstly would be your coolant. Secondly would be your windshield reservoir water, which is probably the most important. Then of course you've got your engine oil here. And of course you've got your transmission oil there. And those are really the only things you need to look at. Please remember that your vehicle comes with a 10 year 160,000 kilometer powertrain warranty, a 5 year 130,000 kilometer new car warranty, and also 5 year 130,000 kilometer roadside assist. It's very important that you bring your vehicle in for its annual services, which will be every 15,000 kilometers or a year, whatever comes first. And it's really important that you have your vehicle serviced with us here at Simon Lucas to hold that warranty. Your new Mitsubishi ASX will also come with automatic headlights and how we adjust that is as follows. On the right hand side is your headlight stalk. You'll notice there's a little dot over here and what we'll do is we'll turn that to automatic. And what that means depending on the light outside your headlights will come on automatically. The vehicle also has fog lights and how we activate that is there's a little lever on the right hand side and if we turn that that's my spotlights on and that's off. If you don't want your headlights on automatic, you can override it by doing it manually, just by turning the dials on the right hand side to your headlights or your fog lights. Another great feature that your new Mitsubishi ASX will have is automatic rain sensors. You can obviously do everything manually if you want to and how that works is as follows. On the left hand side of the steering wheel is my stalk. If I push it down, that's going to be my different variant speeds, high and low. But if you keep it in the middle, it's set to automatic. And how that works, if it starts raining, your, your windshield wipers will automatically activate. 
If you have got a bit of dirt on the rear windshield and you want to get that off, it's very simple. You just turn this dial here and that's going to activate your rear windshield wipers. Right, another awesome thing is if you're on the open road, the vehicle's got cruise control, how we activate that is as follows. Get to your desired speed, so if it's 100 kilometers an hour on the motorway, what you're going to do is tap this little button on the right hand side of the steering wheel. And by doing that, it'll activate cruise. Get to the desired speed that you're happy with. Tap it down to set, and that's cruise control activated. What I'm gonna do now is show you how to activate your air conditioning on the vehicle and what you can do with it. Firstly, very simple. You'll notice that each dial here, there's three dials, has got a little red marking, and that tells you what setting you're on. If I turn that to on, you'll notice my AC is on now because I've got my light on. That's to circulate the air within the vehicle. These are my different modes over here. So this is obviously air flowing directly onto you. My feet and onto me, just my feet demisting the front in my feet and obviously in these cold winter mornings that would be to demist the front if you've got a lot of build up on the back windshield and you want to demist it just tap that button over there and that'll demist the back as well this is my different temperature settings here so obviously moving it up will make the car warmer right another nice feature that your new Mitsubishi ASX will have is your reversing camera very easy you don't have to activate anything as soon as you put the vehicle into reverse your camera will be displayed there you'll notice there's two green lines those green lines are giving you the parallel version of your vehicle that red line there if you are backing up and that red line touches the object behind you stop you still got 30 centimeters and as soon as i put the car into drive my camera goes off one of the great things on the mitsubishi asx is how easy and simple it is to work the onboard computer you'll notice on the right hand side we have an information button if i tap that it'll open up a setting menu if i hold that down it'll now open up a screen and on that i can work out my averages from automatic to manual if i want to change it i can also go from degrees celsius to degrees fahrenheit if that's the way you want to work my languages i can change i can set little alarms if i want a coffee break you know every two hours that's my indicator stalk on and off so in other words clicking once or twice can reset everything to factory standards as well just by holding it down to return to the main menu hold the information button down i can change my trips and how you do that is just hold the information button down on trip a trip b and it'll take it back to zero the car will also let you know when your car is due for a service by giving you the month and the kilometers left a really good way it'll also give you the exact range that you've got in your fuel tank and your average liters to 100 kilometers while you're driving but i find the best setting is to actually drive with it on your range in your fuel tank right one of the great features in the asx is the sda system and it's very easy to understand that's my home button there that's my media that's my phone and that's my different settings what we're going to do firstly is push the home button you'll notice that this screen will pop up where we've got multimedia phone settings and information if i for example go into my multimedia you'll notice at the top here i've got source this will give me different things i can do on the vehicle if i want to program a radio station very easy if i'm in fm like i am now there's two ways of doing it Firstly, I can just scan automatically by tapping that button there, get the radio station I want, hold that down, and it's activated. A really good way of doing it though is to push station list. Every radio station in this area will pop up. So let's say for example I want the breeze, I can tap breeze, push my back arrow, hold it down, and it's now activated. Now, this is touch screen as you can see here, but if I want to, I can control everything from my steering wheel as well because I've got my volume which is activated here. So that's my volume up and down. And then I can also flick through my radio stations by putting the right button is gonna take me through my various radio stations. And wherever the blue marking is, it tells you what radio station you are on. One of the great things with this vehicle as well is let's say for example, I've got my radio station set and I now wanna work on my speakers within the vehicle. How I do that is as follows, push my home button, go into settings. You'll notice it says sound control here, I can tap that. I can automatically just by touching the screen, work my speakers to where I want this, the best sound coming from. I can do it manually from this little arrows as well. If I go back, I've then got my tone I can work on, my treble, mid and bass. I've also got my equalizer with its normal jazz, hip hop, pop, rock and speed compensated volume the faster you go the louder the radio becomes 
a really cool feature with your SDA system is that it is Android Apple compliant and this is how easy it is. You'll notice we've got two USB ports here. Now I could pair my phone up normal Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio. However, if I take my normal USB charge and in this particular case I work on an iPhone but we'll do Android as well. Basically what I do is I put my USB cable in there. I then push always enable and you'll notice that straight away there's my iPhone screen. This is how good this is. From my steering wheel or my dolls here, I can, for example, do the following. Let's say I wanna see what the weather's like in Auckland tomorrow while I'm driving. I can push the talk button. What's the weather like in Auckland tomorrow? Should be sunny in Auckland tomorrow. The high will be 15 degrees and the low will be six. So it's another cold day. The other thing is I can do is also send text messages. So if I want to send my son a message, I can go send Connor Manson a message. What would you like to say? Hey boy, it's dad. I love you lots. I'll give you a call this evening. Your message to Connor Manson says, hey boy, it's dad. I love you lots. I'll give you a call this evening. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. The other great thing is your maps are always updated on the system. So just to give you an idea, if you're going on holiday, you don't know the area you're staying in. I'll just give an example. I can, for example, go hotels and motels. One option is Carnmore Hotel Takapuna on Realty Avenue. There's all the hotels in this area. So let's say, for example, I choose to go to City of Sales. I can tap that there. I can push go on my maps and that's my directions on how to get there as easy as that there's so many things you can do but if you know how to work your phone it's all operated directly off the steering wheel controls just by pushing the talk button you'll notice if somebody phones you there's a little picture of a phone here off the hook that's to answer on the hook is to hang up and that's your voice activation with a little speech button right your Mitsubishi ASX will also come with interior cabin lights how we activate that is just by pushing these in a really good way is to actually keep it on door, which means when I open up my door, uh, your interior cab lights will come on automatically. And when I close the door, it's set on a timer, they'll go off after a certain period of time. This is your hazard lights over here. If there's an emergency, if I tap that, that'll activate my hazard lights. And if I want to put them off, just tap it again. This vehicle also comes with seven airbags. So it's got front airbags, side airbags, curtain airbags, and the driver has also got a knee airbag. Right, just depending on your height, etc. Once your seat belt's in, you can actually just adjust your seat belt height from the back just by doing this up and down. So you can get it set to exactly where you want it and where you're most comfortable. One of the cool things on your ASX is how do you tell if the car is locked or not? Well, if I lock the vehicle, your side mirrors automatically go in. And if I unlock the vehicle, your side mirrors automatically go out. So one of the cool things on this vehicle is your LED daytime running lights. They're on all the time irrespective of what the weather's doing. And that's just going to keep you very, very safe and visible on the roads. One of the great things in your ASX is the loading capability in the boot. To open the boot, very simple, just got a soft touch button here. We tap that, we can open up the boot. As you can see here, there's ample storage. But if you are loading anything really big, what you can do is you can actually remove this screen like this. This parcel shelf can come out. And if we want to pop the seats down flat, you'll notice there's a lever here. What I can do is just push that lever, drop that seat down. It's got a 70-30 split, so we can do it on both sides. And how's that for loading capability and space? Just to show you where the location is of your spare tire, if you come to the back of the vehicle, you raise the screen here, and you'll notice here we've got an 18 inch space saver with your jack and your wheel spanner. Thank you so much for purchasing your new Mitsubishi ASX through Simon Lucas Motors. Please remember your vehicle has to come in at one month or one and a half thousand case for its first checkup. That's really important. So anything worrying you, make a few notes and our service department will have that sorted out for you. And I wish you many, many, many happy kilometers ahead of you in your new ASX. Cheers.